Today's English lesson is all about how to speak fast English and how to understand fast English. So we'll start off by talking about your hometown. A hometown is the place where you grew up or where you spent lots of time as a child. You might still live in your hometown today. I am going to teach you about all the questions that native English speakers will ask you about your hometown, starting with where are you from? In today's English lesson, I'm not just going to speak like an English teacher. I'm going to speak like I'm really your friend. So listen carefully because I'm going to be speaking quickly and I want you to practice understanding this type of English. You will definitely need to be prepared to speak about your hometown when it comes to having a day-to-day -day English conversation. When people meet you, they're very curious about where you are from. Even if you are from the United States, we love to talk to each other about hometowns. So you might have already noticed that Americans and English speakers are just fascinated with learning about your hometown. So the first few questions might seem very obvious, but someone might ask you, what's your hometown? Or where are you from? Or where did you grow up? Someone might even say, where are you originally from? These all mean the same thing you need to say, the city or the state or the country that you are from. Some ways that you can respond to where are you from or any of these questions, let's use Los Angeles, California, just as an example for this first part. You could say, I'm from Los Angeles, or I'm from California, or I'm from Los Angeles, California. Some people, if they're from a smaller city that you might not know right away, they say, I'm from Southern California. They give a really general area that they could be from. Another really natural response to this conversation is to say, I grew up in California, or I grew up in Los Angeles. If you feel like you were born in a place or you were born in a country and you didn't live there that long, you can say, I'm originally from Los Angeles, but I grew up in wherever you grew up. Now, take what you've learned. It's your turn to answer this question out loud. Where are you from? Great, I hope that you used one of the responses that we just practiced. Remember, we're practicing speaking fast English in this lesson, so I just want you to think of an answer as quickly as you can and try to say it out loud. You are really speaking in today's lesson. Now let's talk about it if you are not from a place that everybody knows, like Los Angeles, California, or New York City. You can say that you're from a certain city, and then people might have what we call follow-up questions. They might want to know more about that city because they've never heard of it, or they've never been there, or they don't even know what country that's in. So people might ask you, what country is that in? Or what part of the country is that in? And that's when you can say it's in the north, the south, east, west, or you can give a major city that it's located near. So for instance, if someone asks you where you're from and you're from a smaller town in Brazil, you could say it's located near Rio de Janeiro. Or you could say it's within 30 miles or something like that that gives a close location to a bigger city that the person may have heard of. So if someone asks you where is that located, once you say where your hometown is, you can give them a response like this. Let's practice. So where is that located? Okay, awesome. I hope you practice speaking out loud and I hope that this is preparing you for your next English conversation with a native speaker. Let's move on to some more common questions that you will definitely be asked. So people want to learn more about your culture and they want to learn more about your hometown. So they might ask you a question like, what is your city or what is your country known for? Or they might say, what is it best known for? Another phrase that they might use is, what's something that's world-class in your city? And world-class is a phrase that describes something that is the best in the world. So maybe there's an athlete that's from your country, or there's a restaurant, or there's a sport, or there's an author, or just 
anything from your city or from your country that you want to brag about, you want to say is the best. Definitely tell people in a conversation about this because it teaches a lot about your culture and a lot about talented people from the same place that you're from. Now it's your turn to practice. What is your city best known for? Perfect. I hope that you practice out loud again. Let's move on. I always say this, if you can talk about the weather in English, you can probably survive about 50% of small talk conversations because weather is always the first thing that people bring up in conversation, especially it seems like in the United States. Let me know in the comments if you guys talk about the weather in your culture all of the time. Maybe it's just this country because the weather varies so much from place to place but we always talk about the weather. So someone might want to know, what's the weather like in your hometown? Or what's the weather like where you're from? Some places have hot weather all year round, and some places have different seasons that change from each time in the year. So you might say something like, it's very hot and dry where I come from. Or you might describe the climate. The climate describes what the weather is generally like. You might say it's actually a very cool climate where I'm from. Or it gets hot in the summer, but it actually gets very cold in the winter where I'm from. So what's the weather like in your hometown? Great, let's move on. I want you to practice answering this question as well. Do you wish to move back to your hometown or do you hope to go back there someday? This is asking if you plan on moving back to where you're from. A lot of times you could answer, yes, I have family there that I want to be close with. Or if you have moved abroad or you have moved to a new city, you can say, I actually really like it here. I want to settle down here. If you settle down somewhere, it means you are living there for the future and you are living there long term. So you might build a house or buy a house and maybe you have a job located in that area and that has made you settle down. Oftentimes when people get married and have children, they settle down in a location. So maybe you say, we actually want to settle down and go back to our hometown so we can be near our family. So I have to ask you, do you wish to go back there? Okay, maybe you still live in your hometown, so maybe that question wasn't relevant to you. You could be asked, do you wish to stay here or do you wish to live there your entire life? And maybe you do and maybe you want to say something like, I actually wish to get out. I wish to see the world. I wish to live and experience a new place. One subject that I really think people relate on, especially when people are from different cultures and they're communicating is sports. So in South America, there are many passionate soccer countries. And in the United States, soccer is not as big of a deal here. Maybe you have rugby or cricket where you're from. Maybe you like basketball. Maybe you are really interested in wrestling. Talk about that in the conversation. I'm sure it might come up if someone says, what kinds of sports do people play where you're from? So here in the United States, I would say that basketball, NBA is a really popular sport. Baseball is popular, but not as popular as it used to be. We like soccer, but it's only popular during the World Cup and the Olympics. And the most popular sport that I see on television is football. We call American football, football here and not soccer. So we like to watch the National Football League, which is the NFL, and that's on in the fall. It's on every Sunday. And also we watch college football, which is on on Saturday. So our colleges have big football teams 
and we put a lot of time and money into these. So if you ask me about the sports where I'm from, I would talk about football. Now I'm going to ask you, what kinds of sports do people play where you're from? Very interesting. Let's move on to the next question. So instead of asking about the sports where you're from, someone might ask, what do people like to do for fun where you're from? This question you can answer with so many different things. You can talk about what people do on a day-to-day -day basis, like maybe people like to cook a lot, or you could say people like to spend time with their family. My culture is very family oriented. This phrase family oriented means that you care about your families a lot. Maybe you care about your grandparents and your aunts and your uncles and your cousins a lot. In the United States, people don't care about their bigger extended family as much as they care about just, you know, whoever are the children and the mom and the dad in the family. So I would say if you are very family oriented and you spend a lot of time with your extended family, definitely talk about that because that is a big cultural difference between the United States and other countries in the world. So if someone asks, what do people like to do for fun? You could answer talking about your family or you could talk about activities that are very popular. Maybe you have a lot of beaches where you're from and you like to go to the beach a lot. Or maybe you have mountains where you live and you go skiing or snowboarding. In different parts of the United States, I would say skiing and snowboarding is more popular. And there's lots of hiking and mountains in different parts of the United States as well. Where I'm from, there are a lot of lakes, so people like to go out on their boats or they like to go fishing a lot. That's very popular. So I have to ask you, what do people like to do where you're from? Perfect, great speaking. Another interesting question that you could be asked with this conversation is what's the economy like where you're from? Whatever your understanding of the economy is in your language, just answer with this. But to me, the economy refers to how much wealth people have. So are people poor? Are people rich? Are people making lots of money where you're from? Or is it hard to make money where you're from? So you could say the economy is actually really good where I'm from. We export a lot of products. People are very wealthy. Or you could say that people are very poor where you're from and that it's hard to make money. A lot of times people come from developing nations. This means our economy is developing and they are developing ways to make new money. So you might see a lot of immigration from countries like this because People want to have more opportunities. You could definitely talk about this when someone asks you the question, what's the economy like there? So I have to ask you, what's the economy like where you are from? Okay. Another really popular question that you'll be asked when it comes to your hometown or your home country, especially your hometown, is what is the city like? If someone just says, what is the city like? They may want to know if you live in a rural area or if you live in a more city area. So an urban area can also be just called a city. So New York City is a very urban area. There's tons of people, there's tons of businesses, there are a lot of different buildings and there's a lot of traffic too. That's pretty typical of an urban area. If you live somewhere more rural, you could say, I actually live in the country. The country refers to a place where there's farming, there's less traffic, there's less people, there's not any big buildings when you say you're from the country. So you could describe the city or the place that you are from as very urban, or you could say it's a big city. Or you could say it's actually very rural. I'm from the country. So what's the city like where you're from?
Excellent. Okay. One thing that I like to ask people that are from other countries or other cultures than my own is I say, what are your houses like there? Because some cultures, they are living in more places that have apartments and shared living spaces. And some cultures, they all have their own houses and they're very far away from another. So I'm going to ask you, what are the houses like where you are from? Interesting. Okay. This question does go along with how's the economy where you're from, but it's a little different. Someone might ask, what do people do for work where you're from? So if you live in a city, you could typically say there's a lot of different industries where I'm from. A lot of people work in finance, people work for the government, whatever it might be, especially if you're from a capital city where the government's located, you could mention that. Or if you're from a more rural area, you could say there are a lot of farmers where I'm from, or there are a lot of people that run shops or whatever it is. If you live in a place that has a tourist economy, so it's a place where people go on vacation, you could say a lot of people work in tourism where I'm from. These are just some ideas of what you could say that people do for work. You could also just say if there's not really a common job where you're from is that there are a lot of different things that people do for work or it really varies. So what do people do for work where you're from? Perfect. Once you get comfortable with someone in conversation, they might ask you, is it really safe where you're from? This is just asking if there is a lot of crime or if there's a lot of known crime. Or they could be asking if there is a lot of violent crime, if there are people getting hurt where you're from. So you could actually just say, yeah, it's really safe where I'm from. There's not much crime. Or you could say, I have a sense of safety where I'm from. Or you could just say, you know, there is a little bit of crime where I'm from. I would say that this question is up to you of a, how you want to portray where you're from. I, I feel like there is crime everywhere in the world, so it doesn't really matter how you answer this question. If crime impacts your decision of living somewhere and you don't have a sense of safety, then I think that that's pretty bad and you probably should talk about that in a conversation. So is it safe where you're from? Hmm. Okay. A final question that I want you to practice with today's lesson is just answering, why did you move? Or why did you relocate? The word relocate means that you located again. You located to a new place. This just is asking, why did you move? Many people relocate for work. Many, many people relocate for more opportunities. So a really common answer to this question is I moved just to have more opportunities or I relocated for more opportunities. So let's practice a quick answer to this question. Why did you move? excellent speaking practice today. Thank you so much for practicing all of these questions about your hometown. I would like to know your hometown or just a fun fact about your hometown below in the comments of this video today. Thank you again for practicing with me. My name's Kayla. I am an English teacher, but I like to teach English like I'm your friend. Subscribe for more English lessons just like this one and please give the video a like if you enjoyed it today. I'll see you in the next lesson. Best of luck studying.